you so much, Mr. Raga, for the introduction, and really great to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. A very good afternoon to everyone present here. I'm Pragna, and today I take immense pleasure in moderating this inspiring and motivating session. To make this session more interactive and fruitful, let's switch on our cameras and keep our microphones on mute. Hello, sir. It feels great to connect with you today. Before we start with our session, I would like to give a small introduction to our speaker. Being a big league cinema fanatic and a colossal advocate for the arts and literature, Mohammed now stands as a junior specialist for Boston Consulting Group. He also maintains his own Instagram page in the name of Unboxing Cinema. This passion for cinema boosts him for his professional work as well. He is proficient in German and also has a certificate of senior diploma in Indian classical music and a junior diploma in Kathak. He retains a rich experience of being a business development associate at Pepper Content, where he helped businesses fulfill their content needs by clocking lakhs in revenue. Anas, in his golden journey of success, is a graduate of the Hindu College with an honors degree in commerce. In 2021, he entered the new world of the BCG, where he assisted the knowledge team in the technology advantage practice. Today, we are glad to have Muhammad Anas in the world of young minds like us, where he would be taking us through a productive ride of increasing our visibility for the perfect identification of a fitted career. Let's climb onto this ride of targeting the perfect career opportunities. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much for the warm introduction, I think. Uh... Uh, you've covered a lot uh, about my introduction. Some things I think dates back to uh, a lot of years back. Some things I do not do. For example, you talked about my music and um, you, you know the da dance that I do, used to learn. I, I think professionally, maybe I'm still not continuing with it. But in a way, all of these things, the dots connect and they help you in a certain way. Um, I, I learned being how important it is being disciplined um, via music. Um, I learned a lot, lot of things from a lot of my teachers who've been there in my life throughout. Um, so again, thank you for the introduction, Pragna. And let's begin. Um, let me give you a brief, let me give you a synopsis of what we are going to do. I um, I'm also very young, probably just a couple of years older than all of you here. Uh, and started my professional professional journey um, not very, you know, very recently. Uh, so again, I would not like to make this a classroom lecture. Uh, maybe I think we've had enough of those. Uh, let's make it in, uh, make, make it a dialogue. Uh, let me talk to you. Let me hear it back from you. And um, in terms of presentation, also I don't have a very boring uh, text filled in, in um, you know, slides uh, to take you through. Um, I, I just have a few pictures I like to slide through and uh, give you a story lining of what we are going to talk about. And let me hear it all also from you about however you want this session to be. Would love to take questions and answers in the middle also in case you are uh, wondering about something um, or we can have it in the end. Uh, all right, let, and let me make it very brief for your interest and also uh, for your retention. Uh, do I have the screen sharing access, Pragna? Yes, you do. Okay, just a second. Uh, I am so sorry for the glitch. I, I think that was my system. Um, yeah, sharing back the screen. Okay, uh, so before we begin, um, if people can um, use your phone, uh, go to slido.com. Um, or you can scan this QR code also. There, there are just three questions that I want to ask from you throughout this duration um, of the interaction. 
and i would just like to understand um how people ref- you know react to my same kind of question so take your time please join in uh, you can use safari you can use chrome just write slido.com in your browser and then you can join in via this code which is 4828580 can can you also please write it down in the chat box if possible all right i think we have it in the chat so we can also refer back there um let me uh, get started uh, okay so i think you already have a little bit of my information but let me tell you what i exactly do at bcg and how design is a part of it and more importantly how design has been a part of whatever i have done um, professionally um so at bcg um i am in a, a supporting function to consultants where um so in in simple terms you you are design student so i'm not sure if you're very well versed with consulting but to simplify it it is about solving problems let's say if you're going um to an educational council and asking them i have interest in um english but i also have interest in philosophy what course should i take what master should what what bachelor's degree should i do what college should i apply for for basically that person is a consultant to you um anyone who solves anything in any, any bit of your problem ranging from a doctor to a physician to a lawyer people those people are consultants now in a professional setup these things move back to businesses now businesses are coming to us and saying hey we have some issues with our business we are not profitable in india this is a model how how we should go about this essentially all of the consulting firms making z bcg bain these are the big names then there are other companies also other firms also they provide consulting services and bcg is also in that business now where i step in is i help the consultants uh make client ready de- deliverables so uh it is not just about presenting information to them it is about presenting the information in a right manner to them so whenever you read a newspaper or let's say you read an article or you see a movie um or let's say you see instagram which is very common these days there is only a certain aspect of uh, content or certain aspect of knowledge that uh, you uh, you know you can hold back you can't possibly uh, uh, you know remember all of the but it there is disturbance from some device can can you ensure that everyone's on mute yes sir okay thank you right uh, so i help uh, the consultant teams design deliverables uh, about how we can uh, you know present um, certain information in a more visually appealing manner uh, to clients to other stakeholders in bcg and outside of it now this makes a very big difference in terms of how they uh perceive information i'll give you a very uh, good quick example uh we sent in a report uh to a client um and it was in a document format um and the kind of response that we received from the client was that uh this is very text heavy and we are not able to get a synopsis of what exactly the next steps are looking like for us as a company as one of your clients uh now they come back to the design team and Uh, which is not me so i am in a different business but design team specifically they go to and uh, they ask it to present it in a visually appealing manner now the contents uh, that 100 uh, or 90 uh, pager document into a 25 30 slider good uh, old fashioned ppt and uh, now the same clients is very clear on um, what we are trying to um, you know convey to them so um, again in terms of design definitely it is not just uh, related to um, com- media companies it's not just related to social media companies it is everywhere and in terms of opportunities everywhere is it's moving to we there was the slido 
All right. I, I'll give you a few minutes for everyone to join. I think people are joining in slowly. Okay, so I, I, I think mostly people love uh, the college campus and uh, the nature around it, which is very good, uh, very good. Um, you can also write, uh, you know, your core specific things, maybe would love to understand what you also love about uh, what you're currently studying. All right, so one thing's pretty evident uh, that most of you, I think, are more, uh, you know, intrigued by the fact that college is giving you that environment to maybe do whatever you love. So I think that's in all a good thing. All right, let me move back. Uh, and talk a little bit about um, the topic of the day, which is also how you tap relevant design opportunities. And uh, there is only a, a, a small portion that I'm going to speak about it. Um, LinkedIn has always been, you, I, I think people still underestimate the power of LinkedIn. Um, but I've seen, I, I've received a lot of your requests, especially when um, Avantika University page posted out uh, uh, about this session, I received quite a few requests and I, I was really happy about the fact that uh, your college university students are actually on LinkedIn and are looking out for opportunities and have a very well presented uh, profile already out. Now, one thing that I would say is, um, which I am also repeating from a few minutes back is that there are design opportunities in every company, which is also going to be uh, the topic of my next slide about how important it is for you to understand the role. Um, what generally people do is they uh, picturize a company uh, that they've always wanted to work with and they take up a role that they are least uh, interested in. All right, so let's say, um, who do we have? A, let's say Pragna wants to work at, at Apple um, and um, but her, you know, um, her niche has always been designed, but now she's getting an opportunity in, let's say, uh, marketing, which is performance marketing. So let's say she'll be handling SEO um, and, and all the search side of things, how their company are present, Google searches, etc. And she ends up taking the job. Um, one way she might be happy that she's joining Apple, she's getting all the perks, being at a good recruiter level. But let's say someone else from, um, uh, you know, someone else from the panel, they join a smaller company, a smaller startup, um, but they do it in the design field and they're doing everything uh, eight hours a day, what they love the most. After a point in time, Pragna will uh, maybe start to realize uh, that whatever she's doing, um, although she's at a good company, but she's she did not sign up for this. Um, you know, when, when she entered Avantika, she always wanted to design and now she's doing completely something different. So when you're going on LinkedIn, uh, it's very important for you to filter out opportunities, very important for you to filter out people. Um, and again, uh, anyone can help you if they are willing enough. All right, so do follow up, but after a point in time, you have to realize uh, who's genuinely here to help and who's genuinely here not to help. Persuading them, I mean, it's going on, only going to be, uh, um, I, I, I would say a time consuming thing for you. Um, personally, I get a lot of messages about referrals in BCG and I do help as much people as, as you know, as I can, as much um, as I'm allowed to. Uh, so it is not about reaching out only to the relevant people. You first also start reaching out to people who you have even a remote connection to. Let's say you're, okay, so Avantika uh, University alumni, they can be a great help. Or let's say your school, wherever you're from, and I'm sure from every school there might be people who are going out um, on top of, you know, certain positions. They're going out there in corporates and doing great things. I'm sure. Maybe in a different level. Maybe they're in marketing, they're in retail, they're in business development. But if there is something that uh, you know binds both of you, you and that particular person, 
if if there is something you um you know both of you can relate to there will always be a push from the you know their end uh, in order to help you so you need to start realizing this you need to de- do a targeted approach in terms of the people you're reaching out to and you need to filter out people it is not that only if you're reaching out to the vp the vice president of the company 100 times um can can she get you um, a referral can she get you an interview maybe not maybe if you're reaching out to let's say me and you know me already we we met let's we met i met uh, one any one of you today i might uh, remember the conversation we had i might want to help you because i know how much passionate you were about design and maybe after two or three messages i might tell you okay i i'll refer you you just need to send me this so everything in the end comes to targeted approach and recognizes rec- recognizing what's actually there for you all right let's come to this debate now um role versus company uh so i'm not sure if you have the option of showing up of hands do we uh, have it here prakash is it a webinar mode uh, we can't see all right no worries uh, essentially what um, again that i'm telling you is uh, in your company so in your college also um, so uh, you know um, your faculty um, sir just just told me that uh is in charge of placements and i'm sure there must be different recruiters coming to your college but even there you need to apply a certain level of filter and you need to understand the opportunities that are actually there for you is it relevant for you um uh, do you want to really do this job and don't necessarily uh just apply for for a company because the ctc is high or maybe it's a company that everyone know uh i know also so again i was also the placement head of my college um a couple of years back and i know that people tend to do this mistake especially um in a tender age like yours when uh that especially when there is a dearth of uh, jobs and i understand uh that people need to uh, take um you know certain opportunities under pressure but we can always filter out if we have 10 in front of us we can always filter down to uh, two or three or four which we really might not want to do but are remotely close to what we want to do later uh, so i think that level of clarity has to be there and in terms of role versus company this is the same debate that i'm sure every one of you must have faced when you were deciding your college course versus college and this will forever and forever be a debate in your life going forward um about what you want to do or about where you want to do it all right so you can do great things um from let's say um india compared to um us it doesn't necessarily mean that if you move, move to us or uk or anywhere else you'll do wonder um i mean there is there are sensations from india that um all right um i am also going to talk about um this passion versus uh career thing just give me a moment all right so again um what i want to tell all of you is and it is um a dialogue from one of my favorite movies every one of you would have watched is three idiots uh ben farhan has a confrontation scene with his father and he says agar ban bhi gaya na to bahut kharab engineer banunga abba just think about it and uh, ask yourself if you are really doing what you wanted to do and i am sure you are in a design university a lot of you would already have that kind of clarity um because uh, you know when you are doing something that you're good at it is not hard but i think the debate and the conversation that i have with my juniors with everyone who seeks my guidance is that in case uh you want to cut someone's hair 
be a baba and become the best baba in the country and who knows you can i, I mean i i'm sure all of you must have heard stories about the millionaire baba who owns royal rolls royce and i mean there are a number of stories so if you're good at something there is no doubt of opportunities the top 1% or the top 2% is always in the creamy layer of every um job in every profession in every career so uh forget um i would say forget about um uh this uh sense that people have instilled within you uh that there are there is limited scope in a certain thing so you might not want to do it there are ample number of um opportunities in something so you you do it just because there are ample number of opportunities doesn't necessarily mean that you will be really good at it which doesn't ensure that you will be successful for you to be successful or for you for you to be let's say earning um, a lot via this you have to be in the top 1 or 2% and um if if you if you know you're on the right path i think you're on the right path so let me come back uh, to slido you can join back from your mobile uh, you can keep slido open i don't think it shuts down Well, let's have a question for everyone. I just want to understand what are you most passionate about. This can be something that you're already doing professionally. It could be something uh, that you do as a side hob hobby. Not really sure if you want to do it professionally, or um, it can be something very academic um, and stuff. Like that. All right, pixel art, music, sketch, and dance, sketching. typography all right so i'm seeing all sorts of uh, different okay so traveling wildlife design credibility all right filmmaking sketching uh character design wildlife creative writing um euclid i am very much amazed by the kind of response that i've been giving because in a way they are all connected to maybe a little bit to what you're doing right now so i think a lot of you are already on the right path and know what um, you want to do professionally um the whole aim is uh you need to connect uh, the dots to uh, what you are doing correctly so what i'm doing right now in life even if it's a small act of uh meeting four of my friends for a discussion today all right i i mean don't uh, i i don't want to sound wrong i am you you should have fun in life and everything but so whatever action i'm doing today if i'm going to do a meeting with four or four people today and talk about a certain discussion uh, how is this going to help my tomorrow and if you know tomorrow what i do how is it going to help the next day and so on and so forth uh, so in the five years what i'm doing right now and what i love are they connecting if the answer is even remotely yes maybe um, you know you are doing something very right um, now the you know whenever you're in the gray area you always start to wonder maybe or no okay so no is very rarely an answer because all of us are very confused people and it is okay to be um, at such an age and i would say age is also not in fact even people in their 30s and 40s are very confused about what they are doing sometimes so it's about uh, whenever uh, you get clarity um uh, i i think that that is the most appropriate and most right time the only thing is that i would say is don't ignore what you really meant for a lot of people ignore what they meant for and take up certain things um, because everyone else is doing it that's the most wrong uh thing and don't take uh, your decision based out of fear if i don't earn by next year it would be very difficult for me if i don't certain amount by next year it would be difficult for me i need to do x x y y thing before the age of 25 you always you know you'll always be in a trap where you'll not be satisfied eventually with any anything whatsoever so yes i think we have enough responses for what whatever people are passionate about and definitely something uh, you all should just a second something's wrong with my screen just just one more second
great so also let me give you an idea about what i do um, apart from bcg so i have been a cinema cinema enthusiast for a great uh, deal of my life and uh, there is this venture called unboxing cinema on instagram that i run along with my uh, friend slash school um, senior and we talk about movies and it is all about content creation and uh, telling people about how movies can change life i think all of us have that one passion apart from what we are doing professionally which helps us stay sane which helps us uh, feed our soul okay um maybe some people it can be um, sketching um, i mean it can be a both professional thing and a personal thing um if you uh, you know seen the movies zindagi na milegi dobara in a scene nasruddin shah and farhan akhtar uh, you know nasruddin shah asks farhan akhtar what do you write so farhan says i write ads and nasir says you write ad for money what do you write for yourself and then he tells about his poetry so even if you're certain thing professionally there will always be an aspect for it you would not want to do for money if you're sketching maybe you want to sketch something that is totally nonsense but it makes you happy and that kind of um uh, you know side hobby that kind of passion that kind of um uh, activity makes you see and helps you um uh, you know helps you really love yourself i would say cinema has been that one thing for me and uh, what we do here is uh, we tell people how cinema can change lives in a similar way that books uh, teaches a lot of things there is also this visual medium that is very similar to i i say cinema is also literature i would say anything that speaks to you it can be a design that you're making it can be a sketch than any one of you making it can be um a scrapbook that you're making if this if it's speaking to you it's literature and if it's conveying a message um it has helped me a lot in um, my work and how i uh, how i react to different people around me and i i think this uh, I, as much as you read you keep on growing as much as you watch you keep on growing i would say and there are both uh, negative things and positive things to learn from it i would want to clear this out that they show the positive things for you to uh, learn about or or maybe understand how things are done in a certain way this show you the negative things because it they don't want you to do it similar for everything you you heard about the bad stories because you don't want to repeat it uh, you want to learn from it and move on um, and because you understand uh, they want to classify this as black uh, okay they're showing it but i know this is not good um and they're showing it because i should not be doing this so i will see i always on always see it this way anyway let me also talk to you about bcg um see um design opportunities is everywhere and i also want to i also wanted to highlight uh, what we all, we have here at a pub there is a very uh, great uh, team at bcg the design team and we have uh, roles such as ux designers uh, visual designers there is a different bcg design studios strategic designer and we help bcg in all of our uh, design requirements you can be helping consultants let's say they are doing a case with a telecommunication company and ask you to be there on the whole project from the start till the end maybe you will be he- helping uh, tomorrow's geo build another brand from the scratch from logos to everything and and you don't know about it um you can be helping the social media um, of social you know bcg so there are so many different opportunities and so many different teams that there's never a doubt for uh, the design requirements and especially uh, as i told you a lot of today's teens and youth they have this deficiency attention seeking deficiency syndrome where they can't retain a lot of information so it's very important for every one of them including you to actually talk about the most relevant things uh, rather than talk about everything all right and this was this was always and i wanted to keep all of my slides limited to logos and text very, very limited logos and text i wanted you to um, understand what i am seeing instead of you focusing on the ppt uh, you can go to careers.pct.com and uh, uh, you have my name um, i would be more than happy to refer any one of you um, 
and um, who knows i mean i mean apart from bcg also there are so many other things that you can do in life uh, so, the, so so the similar kind of roles i'm telling you every organization today requires uh, ux designers and uh, social media designers and you never know you can be a good fit um and just to highlight uh, it's very important for you to also be at a same workplace and i would say bcg is a very great place to work at in, in fact it was the best places to work in 2022 like by black store so i think all of these factors um, these are just metrics but i would say they are also although be more reason for you to uh, work with a company where they respect you as much as they respect your work so you know you're you're a human resource for them and not just a resource for them um so yes i would be more than happy to answer any q and a we have about uh 7 uh minutes about 10 minutes i have a hard stop at 3:45 but before that i have one last slide of um question for you all right so what's your favorite movie come join slido answer this for me the reason i'm asking you is very simple uh, i think all of us uh, learn a lot of things from what we uh, see around us from what we hear around us and from all the pop culture references that we pick up so all our morality all our values i think they're based around where we live and um, what other people around us are doing so i would i, I would say movies they play a great part for example you would have seen i talked about some uh, you know a couple when i so i mean your dragon which is a very great movie secret life of walter mitty oh guys i think i'm the one person who will you know a movie to learn from but <laughs> uh but the bird box at the mushke all right i i think someone from your isha from your team was coordinating with me and she told me that you guys had a movie night yesterday and uh, i it very good Just just connected. Yeah, he is joined. I think. Hi, I just got connected. Hi. Hi. So sorry. No sense. Okay. Sure. Okay. So great. Uh, I had all the answers, and I just wanted uh you to remember those movies which you like, and I think I'm sure it would have gotten you back uh to the time when you were watching it and you learned something from it. um all right so we can come back to question and answers would be happy if anyone wants to unmute and speak uh, and come on camera if if not you can also write back to me in the chat um right ragav sir also if you want to please ask me anything um um please feel free to as well yeah uh, before some questions comes i would really uh, appreciate because at some part of uh, my career i also worked with pcg as a consultancy and uh, i can really connect uh, what you are presenting right now here to the students so uh, my company used to take consulting from bcg and we used to visit it their offices in gurgaon oh and uh, i'm i'm then, uh, speaking to you out of bcg's gold gold gap office right now oh great so yeah. uh, we have been into the same cities i work with hero motor corp and uh, once upon a time we used to work with bcg so uh, great uh, students uh, questions or anything which you want to know or share something so what is your favorite movie okay i mean that's a good question uh, uh my favorite movie is dead poet society uh which is which stars robin williams and i'll tell you a very good reason also why i love that movie in the movie the whole uh, you know the hustle is around uh, we doing certain things and in the end 
uh, some people following the passion and for for you would have seen it would relate to it um, but it was all about finding yourself and being really happy about what you're doing um which is why i think that still tops the list of my favorite movies so uh, do you relate that movie to the book alchemist to the movie alchemist um okay so i haven't read alchemist but i know what it is about see um the thing is a lot of the things in life relate to similar things there is no way that you can read all of the books written in the world or there is no way you can watch all the movies uh, shot in the world so a lot of literature a lot of art have overarching themes and this um, in, in case you watching a lot of movies or reading a lot of books you'll always uh, you know find this fact uh, for, for example um, Let, let's take zindagi na milegi dobara or let's take dil chahta hai they also have overarching themes okay so i think art overlap overlaps already because you know eventually and essentially they they're talking about life and how how you should live it so there's a question in the chat what do you expect from students who aspire to join bcg design okay now that's a very good question and uh, i understand how difficult it is to straight out of college get a desired opportunity uh, but let me tell you uh, the you know being a design student the one thing that you should always have ready is a portfolio that you can bank on is a portfolio that you can showcase to prospective employers and it is always about you know standing out from the crowd and i'm sure you already are stand out from the crowd but uh, you also have a differentiator so maybe three of you are applying and one of you have a very solid portfolio and are able to dif- you know describe why you should be getting a design role in bcg i i and you're very clear about it i think that should do the job experience does matter and uh, i think you can get it by freelancing you can get it by uh, internships but meaningful internships i do know a lot of places and organizations where you do internship you get get a certificate but you're not really adding a value so whenever you wherever you're working no matter internship or job please think about creating value just think if i'm creating creating this design how is it helping the company ask yourself those questions ask those questions to the people you're working for and i think makes all that makes all the difference okay the future of design industry i uh, uh, i think rishikesh has answered this asked this question and rishikesh i really don't have an answer to this uh, i think i'm very under qualified to answer this um, plus it's i think an altogether different dip- um, but i you know yes people have been um, really consuming a lot of visual content so definitely uh, you know when i compare uh you know internships uh you should be honestly uh and the reason reason is also pretty simple uh you know bcg bcg is a professional services giving um, organization and what the, the work they're doing they need to have a certain level of credibility uh, for people to work on so whenever they're hiring interns they hire very limited and they train and polish them to a very good level but they can't do it with um, a, a lot of number of interns so you can always check the career portal there are always some of the other internships open just wait for the right moment and ask someone to refer you um, or just directly apply because they get equal importance to your you know application if you you're not referred by someone um veda is asking um do i find a connection between movies and your professional lives how do movies have an impact of your life um i think answered um i answered it already um there is definitely a connection see b- because i watch movies as a passion uh I, and i know how much i can speak about it so i'm confident speaking about movies and i need that same kind of confidence at my work um so one thing that i promise myself is i will not do anything half heartedly the, the the moment you start doing things half heartedly or for the sake of it you tend to um, get confused um, you know inside of yourself you tend to uh, 
not be confident about certain things if someone asked me today um, what is the kind of role what is the kind of job that consultant that i work with is doing i would be able to answer it 100% because you should not just know what you are doing you should know what people around you are doing with the work that you are doing all right um so yeah that that's just one thing that i i can draw from the question that you are ask all right a lot of um, you know, questions are coming on movies um you, you, you do you want to ask me anything on design right now um otherwise i'll answer the current questions i think there's a question by samarth he is asking what is why is market preferring more ui than cd all right so again um samarth not really uh, uh, you know i'm not not really into the industry that you're talking about because uh, this is more of a product uh, design thing that you're asking about uh but if you want to know my view i i think the way the customer or the user experiences um whenever they're using a certain application whenever use, using this certain website i think studies show that it's more important for a conversion than um you know other things which is why us ui has been given such a such a big uh, importance these days um okay what if one doesn't have confidence in becoming successful about the passion how should don't have to be confident about becoming successful you have to have the confidence to uh, know that you own your passion so for example if you sing and you know i am doing my best in singing and i know i'm best i i think uh, the whole debate that i started was if you really good at something you'll eventually become successful so instead of uh, trying to think about how you will become successful focus on how will you become better at what you're doing the passion so improve your game the fame will follow um ishita is asking what is my thought process and takes on the movies that i watch if there is any particular way through which you choose a movie that you would like to watch uh no ishita since uh, i have a movie page and i talk about all of the um movies i have to have watch a lot of movies from different different genres right um so i can't uh, tell people that uh, uh, let's say um deadpool society is good if i haven't seen uh, sawshank redemption as well okay so the standard movies i have to watch then i have to more watch some of regional cinema uh, so for uh, you know it's very general i mean if if you're in the industry you need to have information on everything before you can comment on anything um but yes i do have a favorite genre and my favorite genre is um coming out of life movies um good will hunting um and uh, uh, you know all of these um tom tom hanks forest gum um and you know classic that talk about movie drama movies basically so this is the um kind of content that i like to watch all right we just a little uh, yep um and i'm sure there are a lot of more questions uh coming up uh, but let me tell you that you can always reach out to me um here's my instagram and here's my uh, linkedin feel free to write to me and i would be more than happy to connect with you um whatever help you need in terms of uh, you know deciding anything about uh, what you really want to do or if you want a referral at bcg i would be more than happy in case uh, your portfolio is something uh, that i that i get that i'm getting confidence in um so yeah always uh, a text away at both of these platforms and uh, really great to you know have been here i think we had a great audience uh, over 80 plus people were there um so yeah okay as we are nearing the as we are near the end of the session i would like to thank you sir for taking out your valuable time and sharing these thoughts with us your valuable insights will really help us in our journey we wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors thank you so much and all the best to all of you and thanks for having me here that's great thanks a lot uh, it was very interesting and unconventional session uh, 
thanks for making it a less PowerPoint friendly presentation. Uh, we really enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, great, great, thanks. We would have definitely like to have you again on our board uh, with some new interesting topics. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you Thank very you much. much. Yeah. Thanks, students. Bye bye. Take care, all of you.